Greetings and salutations. I'm here with another fusion tutorial for you. And um, I was recently asked by someone how to make a spiral that uh, loops back on itself. So stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so we've got fusion open now. Um, and for the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to use a circle which is what he initially kind of indicated um, he wanted but then I think he changed his mind and um, said he wanted perhaps like a snaked chain pattern that would fit within his build area which makes sense um, but that's a bit of a lengthy calculation so I'm not going to bother for this but you could very easily work out the actual length of that by using the tool I'm about to show you which I'm going to use for my circle and you go to omnicalculator.com forward slash math forward slash circumference and I'll link that in the description and initially you said you wanted the, um, the, the chain to be 450 mil long so type that in and that gives us our radius and our diameter and for this we'll use the diameter um, if you were making that snake chain pattern you could easily work out the length of the curves at the end of the straight line um, by measuring the distance between the two straight lines using that as the diameter type that in, it'll give you your circumference and then divide that by 2 and there's your distance. So you just add the length of the straight lines together, the distance of half the circumference for each of those circles and so forth and so on until you've got your entire chain length at the exact length that you want it. But for now we're just going to go with this because it's quick and easy. So we want to create a sketch and we'll just go top view for now create our circle and we want the diameter to be that value which we copied from the website and we go finish sketch now next thing we want to do is create a second sketch this time on front plane and this will determine the overall um, diameter of your spiral itself not the, th the diameter of the um, actual body going around the spiral but the kind of overall size of the spiral from the top to the bottom. Um, you may have to tweak that, um, it's up to you. For me I'm just going to go with 5mm on one side and 5mm on the other side and the reason why that has two lines is so that we have a center point and we can just drag that a little bit closer and you select that center point and our circle make a coincident make a coincident like that and they are still vertical 
as indicated by those. Sometimes when you do that, you may find that that point pulls itself in and these will actually bend or the center point itself will move, but these points may not. If that happens, simply select the line and hit horizontal vertical and that'll straighten it up for you. But it's worked for now. So we'll just finish that sketch. And what we want to do now is go into surface and sweep. And for our profile, we we'll select our line for the path, select our circle, and you can see it's made a nice ring. And then you want to change the twist angle. Now, how much you want it to twist will depend on your visual preference, I guess. Um, so you'll need to play with this. Um, so if we go 360, you can see it basically makes like a Mobius strip. It just gives it one 360 degree turn around the whole circle. But if we then add an asterisk and say 30, it gives us a nice telephone cord kind of twist, which is most likely what you are after. So you can play with that value to get the amount of twists that you want. For now, that'll do. And now that we've got that, we can go back to the solid workspace and create another sketch. Use the front plane. And what we want to do is select the outer rim of the spiral, or at least one side of it anyway. As you can see, it's only selected half, but if we follow that curve around, select the next half, you'll see that it selects all of that. Let me go up to create and project include, I'll just say include 3D geometry. And it's a bit hard to see, but you can see a purple line in there. So we finish sketch. And we'll just hide a few things so that clear it up a little bit. And as you can see, we've got our spiral. So now we go construct plane along path. Select our path. And hit OK. And if we right click on that and say create sketch. create a circle that can be you know, whatever size you want your tube to be I guess and then we go create sweep sort of a circles profile select the spiral as the path and there you go, you got your spiral so as you can see you got a nice telephone cord looking spiral there and um, so yeah basically you can make your own snaky path and do the same thing um, you m may have to play with the amount of coils um, and so forth or the size of the um, or the thickness of the coil itself um, depending on the kind of tightness of your curves um, but you know play around with the values and I'm um, sure you'll get there soon enough all right well that about wraps it up for this tutorial uh, if you like what I do give us a thumbs up subscribe all that kind of jazz 
And um, if you've got any questions or anything, leave them in the comments or reach out to me at, um, at the Real World Bot on Twitter. And I'll be happy to assist. But until then, happy fusioning. Catch you next time.